What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, episode 6 of season 1. Glad to be back. Happy Thursday. We're here. Last on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> let's go. Let's take a gander just to get my brain. Oh, yeah, the vulture. Yep. Uh, detective from Special Crimes came in and fucked everything up. But Jake was like, no, I'm doing this myself. But they got drunk while on the job as well. And shit was going on. And it was a very funny episode. And I enjoy this show. It's, it's getting funnier uh, each episode. Each episode is just getting funnier and funnier. And I don't. There's nothing like to deep dive into. It's just an enjoyable sitcom. So, nonetheless, let's get into Brooklyn Nine Nine Season One, Episode Six and Three, Two, One. Ugh, Halloween is the worst. Everyone's drunk, wearing a mask, and carrying a fake gun. Plus, all the girls think they have to dress sexy. I know that is the worst. Please make them stop. I passed a slip. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Pretty cool stoom, huh? Stoom, short for costume. Ah, all right, let me guess. You are Dumpy Chuck Norris. No. There's a man with impeccable taste. <laughs> he did a guy's butt off at a WNBA game. <laughs> Eric Stoltz for mask. I'll take it. Yeah. Having to separate Hillary Clinton and Kim Jong-un. Stop it! Stop making out! Hey, no! What would Bill say? We need two undercovers. <laughs> <laughs> Kind, sober, and fully dressed. Good news, everyone. We found the name of Santiago's sex tape. That's funny. All right, a Halloween episode. Let's go. Trying to rob a bank, but had a little trouble with the getaway. Trying to split, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get out on appeal. <laughs> I'm glad you're stuck. I've got a million of these. No, 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 don't touch the money. I swear these perps are so stupid. I'd make a better criminal than any of them. Yeah, you would. You'd be an evil mastermind, and everyone would call you the handsome bandit. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> I'm 100% sure. You'd be caught. Oh, ho, ho. all right, challenge accepted. An initial challenge. Fine, I'll issue it for you. What's the most valuable thing in your office? My Medal of Valor. God, you are such a hero. And I won't tell anyone here about the time I saw you wearing short shorts outside of work. But if I win, you won't. You have to do all of my paperwork. He just told him anyway. <laughs> and this won't interfere with you doing your job. You mean my job as an amazing detective slash genius? No, it will not. I'll do all of my work, guaranteed. I'm considering it. I'm interested. I agree to participate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. Can't tell you how many nuns I wanted to beat up in Catholic school. Ten. <laughs> you in Catholic school? Good. You shouldn't know it. I get it. You're so mysterious and tough. Do you know what I think? You're actually a big softy. I'm a detective. I will detect. <laughs> hey. God, she's so fine, dude. I can't get over it. You're the best. <laughs> What does your skin taste like? Dina Lohan. I'm wearing her face lotion. That's it. Okay. Okay. Party's around the corner. Tipster said there'll be a huge amount of drug activity. Why is this costume so stiff? And what is that smell? The department never washes them, so it's probably vomit. Hey! Oh! Come on, ma'am. No open containers. Um, uh, why should I listen to you, bone person? It's called a skeleton. It's a very common word. Just put the vodka away. Ah. You guys are cops? These guys are cops! Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Fuck them. Are you in my ceiling, Peralta? No. So, what's the plan? You're placing it in a locked safe whose combination is known only to me. The safe, in turn... Is that a big old thing of meat? The only key to that cabinet is on my person. I'm off to my meeting. Good luck with the plan. You think that scares me? I laugh in the face of adversity. Are you still there? Captain, are you still there? I can't. <laughs> Ow. I knew that was going to happen. God damn it. Out of my contacts and my hair and my mouth and my bra. I can't tell if that's hot or not. Not hot. Eggshell in my bra is not hot. Well, it's kind of hot. Boobs go in a bra. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Make a bet with Holt, you should have made a bet you could win. Like who wears more denim jackets. That was one time. You guys never forget anything. You know, frankly, I'm a little surprised you don't think I can win this thing. You're always telling me how I'm the best. It's about Captain Holt. Man's a genius. He's had your number at every turn. Well, not this day turn time. 
Some what? <laughs> there. Here I come. Oh, strong. Yeah, he has concussion. You got kicked out of Catholic school. Are you doing drugs? Worse. Selling drugs? Worse. How bad could it have been? Did you burn down a church? Number three. Jesus. Step forward and say the word worse. Worse. Excuse me, Gina. I can't find parole to any. Captain, hey. You really thought this was gonna work? Uh, it did work. This whole janitor gambit was designed to fail. It's just like in chess. Sometimes in order to win, you have to sacrifice your king. That's exactly how you lose at chess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to play with my Uncle Bob all the time, and he said I was great. This is a game of concentration, Jake. So focus your mind, start shooting. Now you're a master of chess. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, heads up. I'll cut him off at the exit. OK, move, move, move. move, move. move. He ditched the drugs, I'm on it. Man, sorry, bro. What is that? How is it hot and cold? <laughs> so the soonest you can fix the ceiling is Monday? I'm gonna have to call you back. By using my big fat brain. Get the bag you did. Eat the bread! Eat the bread! <laughs> Amy paid me 50 bucks to trade places with her for the rest of the night. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna use that money to buy two suits. Two suits? Well, I was gonna ask you to tell the captain that I brought in royal babies for Diaz, but I'm sure he already knows since he's always one step ahead of me. Aw, uh, my slow down little clown. Just sick of losing the Hulk. I want the trip. In the world. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> That's where that came from. I kind of feel bad for him. Don't. He brought this on himself. You can hang up now. <laughs> That's great. You paid money to get out of working with me? Charles, I had to. Tonight has been awful. Halloween is the worst, and I don't understand why you like it. No, all the things that you think are bad about Halloween are what make it great. Forged in the crucible of Halloween adversity. Hey, at least he's looking at it in a positive way. Hey, Captain Holt, can you come out here for one sec? <sighs> <laughs> Keychains. $23. Wow, that is unbelievably close. $22.76. Keys. <laughs> oh, I'm not letting you off the hook. What? No. I meant to give you an out so you can save face. This is getting sad. Yeah, for you. <clears throat> so I remember that old bag. She was my favorite. Guess what she said. <laughs> the reason I left Catholic school was because I got into the American Ballet Academy. I was a classical dancer. And I was good. I knew it. I knew you were a big softy. You tell anyone, I break your face. Mm. Sorry to interrupt. Some officers just arrested Peralta. What? They caught him scaling the side of the building with a blowtorch. <sighs> Captain. I knew you wouldn't win the bet, but your performance tonight has made me question not only how good a detective you are, but quite frankly, how smart you are. Well, that's not surprising. You constantly underestimate me. No, you've been correctly estimated. Captain, let me tell you a little story. You remember when I fell through your ceiling? Yes, that was six hours ago. It was, I admit, a disastrous failure. But it gave me the idea for Herman, the friendly janitor you met. With. Of course, I had to find a way to get her out of your office without you seeing her. So I created a diversion, not mistimed, perfectly timed, so she could escape unseen. What about the pigeons? Oh, the gray pigeons? They were a red herring. Thank you. Their only purpose was to draw you into the copy room while two members of my team broke into your locked office. And I got it. You were so concerned with getting your keys back, you didn't even notice the sergeant steal your phone. That's right. Even the sergeant's on my side. I then had Charles dust your screen cover for prints. The greasiest smudges revealed the four numbers you used the most. Of course, you're safe. That would be a fair assumption. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Jake Peralta. And how was flirting part of the plan? Oh, it wasn't. It just ruled. And that brings us to five minutes ago, when Amy came to your office and told you that I'd been arrested. Well, Captain, it seems that Jake isn't the only person you underestimate. <laughs> 20 seconds to spare. Game over, Captain. Check me. 
I think you mean checkmate. You really need to learn how to play chess. <laughs> they defeat him! And that worked? No. Oh, no, not at all. My speech did not inspire them. <laughs> I'm impressed, Peralta. Well done. Thank you, sir. In fact, the thing that you failed to see, Captain, teamwork is exactly Captain? what provided our success. Sir? Sorry about tonight. I'm sorry about tonight. We found the title for Santiago's follow-up sex tape. <laughs> I didn't convince you to love Halloween. It's not your fault. I was terrible. It's not your fault I was terrible is also one of your sex tapes. <laughs> Attention, everyone. Jake Peralta is an amazing detective slash genius. <laughs> he had 19 wallets in his diaper. We got a runner! Oh, oh. Eating the crap out of ballerinas. It's a good thing we gave him a heads up. Team effort. Code 99. Code 99. That was cool. That was a good episode. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Halloween. I mean, I love all the. All the, all the all the plot lines that are going on, you know, you got fucking, you got Diaz and Terry talking about, like, Terry's like, you're, you're a softie, you're a bitch. No, 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 he's just saying that, like, she's a softie, and she's not that, her fit, she's saying her, her hard mentality is fake, which is funny. And he just kept trying to prove her wrong, and she, at the end, proved him right, or proved herself right, and proved him wrong. Which was great. Um, Santiago wasn't happy with Halloween. She hates Halloween. And uh, she was not having a good time. She had to wear a skeleton. She got fu the, the, the fucking costumes smelled like shit. You know, she got some beverage dropped on her at the fucking club. She was not having a good time. And at the end, she was like, all right, whatever. Let's have fun. I was being a bitch. <laughs> um, and then fucking Jake. Jake and Holt. I love Captain Holt, dude. He's so funny. He's so fucking funny, dude. Ugh. The actor is so great, too. I, I really appreciate him. He's He's good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's fun, and... The, sh the show's just... Andy Samberg's really good. I think he's funny. Uh, he may be cringe here and there, but I really like him. Diaz, oh my god, she might be my like my new celebrity crush. I never realized how like top notch she is. Like she's beautiful, dude. I can't get over. Her. I'm gonna never not get over. Her. She's fucking great. <laughs> she's great. Um. And then the assistant to Holt, she's also fine as fuck, too. I like her character. She's kind of cringe, though, at some points, but she's not bad. I enjoy her at some points. I think Charles, or Doyle, is also another one that I really like. He's just so... He's smart, but he's so fucking... Like, he's book smarts. He does not have street smarts and, like, social... Like, he doesn't understand social cues and shit like that, too. So, that's funny. I, I enjoy that. I don't like beer, so I stick to seltzers and hard alcohol, hard liquor. And seltzers like this or Mike or whatever are good. They're good stuff. But, yeah. That was a fun episode. I always love sitcom sitcoms when they do, like, like, how do you, like, uh, like ho holiday episodes. Like, a lot of sitcoms always have, like, the Halloween episode that airs, like, a a week before Halloween, and they have their Christmas, Thanksgiving episode, Valentine's episode, whatever it may be. I always enjoy those. Those are always some of the best episodes, because they just, I don't know, there's always something about them. The Halloween episode was, was fun. It had a good story, and it ended on a good high note, and Jake got his ego boosted to the max, to the max. And Holt, Holt is enjoying it. I think Holt's having a great time. What I, my, my theory is Holt a, was a theater kid, so, he's putting this on because he just enjoys the act, and he's he's enjoying it a lot, and it's fun for him, so, so yeah, I mean, it's cool, that's cool. Uh, I have nothing much else to say, you guys know that I just, I just watch this and laugh 
smile, you know, have a good time. Don't need to overanalyze it because there's just no no need to. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all the social medias down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Goodbye!